Hi, my name is Rishabh Rajan and this is a demonstration video for CryptoCypher's Tongue Drum Sound Library. When you extract this package, you'll be presented with two folders, one with Fujara textures and the other one is the Tongue Drum plus Sound Design Library. Inside this folder, you'll find the instruments, multis and the samples. Inside the instruments folder are the main NKI files. I've already loaded the master patch in contact. This by the way works in contact 4 as well as 5. So let's have a listen to it. So that's the tongue drum open sound. And a couple of octaves above, you'll find these two choked samples. Now this main patch has three key switches. The first you've already heard. On the D note, there's the muted sample set. And lastly on the E, there's the tremolo sample set. You'll notice that each note has a release sample as well. Okay, now let's take a look at the interface. We're looking at the arpeggiator page right now, and clicking over here turns it on. If you've used an arpeggiator in contact before, you should be quite familiar with this view. You can change the length. the speed, it goes all the way up to 128 notes and goes all the way down to whole notes. The note order can be changed over here and there's even a chord mode which plays the entire chord for each hit. Another interesting feature we have over here is the low note, high note range. I'll set this back to up and down. If I change that low note to C2, you'll notice at the bottom the key colors have changed. So now the arpeggiator only works from C2 to C3, and the low notes can be played without the arpeggiator. So that really introduces some flexibility during performances. Now let's move on to the next page. We have the humanization page. Random timing, tuning, velocity, and even panning. If you're using headphones, you'll be able to hear the panning randomization. Of course, you can set the range for it as well. Group cycling can be random or set to round robin as well. Now the next page is a micro tuning page and each note can be pushed up or down a semitone or anywhere in between. So that gives you the option to create more interesting microtonal scales. And lastly, we have the effects page, which has three effects built in. The first one is a convolution reverb with dry, wet, and pre-delay controls. Next, we have a delay. You can set the delay time, the feedback, the dry and wet controls, damping for the feedback, as well as the stereo spread with the span knob. And 
And lastly, we have an EQ. This is a three band parametric equalizer where you can set the frequency, the bandwidth, as well as the gain. Okay, now let's explore some of the sound design patches. Let's try this arpeggiated melodic drum. As you can see, the arpeggiator is set to just the bottom octave in this patch. Cool, let's try another one. How about this arpeggiated music box? Alright, now some of the patches that have MOD written at the end give you additional control via the mod wheel. Let's try this one. So you can see you have control over the glitchiness of this particular pad. Let's try another one. So in this one you have some kind of a Foreman filter that can be controlled via the mod reel. Of course we also have multis. Let's try one of these. Most of these multis use the patches from the instruments folder. I like this pad and drum multi. It has a very musical sound. Would work great in film music. So that's the Tang Drum Library. Now the Fuyara textures are quite straightforward. They don't have any UI controls as such, but you will find that they work fine as is. Very ethereal, ambient, and textural in nature. Let's try another one. Of course, you can choose to further process this in your DAW. Okay, I hope that helps, and I hope you enjoy this product from CryptoCypher.